in each weapon, everyone remains qualified. It's, it's budgeted, yes, sir. Uh, and I hate to ask this, but uh, we don't have to do what cities do. But what is the percentage reckon out there that people have, that police departments already have? Other police departments do have, they all have these silly R4 targets, the R15s? The R15s, I would say most do. I, I don't know that for sure, I haven't researched it. But I would say that the majority do have. And I believe that have as much firepower as the bad guys do. As long as we are trained efficiently, when and how they use it. I think we should get this request to get the second. Or discussion board? I'll just add that I think it's a a good idea for us to provide these and the, or the, uh, the equipment instead of them bringing their own. Almost, yeah. Maybe even on the liability. That's my biggest concern. Officers on their own equipment, firearms bring it to a workplace for the car. And no more discussion. Yes. Steve? Yes. 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 They better take care of it. Thank you. Any questions for me? Uh, at this time, Chief. On the uh, summary of information that I gave you, that we just recently completed the application phase. Uh, I believe it was 34 applications we received back, which uh, was the most in several, several years. Uh, that was encouraging. Uh, of those 34, eight um, was already completed with the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy, which again is very encouraging. You know, we usually get three or four, this time we get eight. Uh, last Saturday, uh, we had a uh, practice physical agility test form. And several of them showed up to take advantage of that. This Saturday is the actual physical agility test. We had to practice a week in advance. So they kind of know what to expect, know if they can pass it or not. You know, no, just in general, know what to expect. So this Saturday is the physical agility test, um, and the written test will follow that. Uh, hopefully, within um, a week or two after that, we will conduct our interviews, the police department in, and then maybe a week or two after that, arrange something with the board works. I'm just curious, I know of one application that you received that the policeman is currently on duty, still working as a policeman. Are any of the others been through the academy still working as a policeman? Um, I believe all but one. One, one was laid off from, um, I think it's Pike Township Schools. So you got they did some the riffing and unfortunately he was one of them that got riffed. And the, I was currently working as a I think he was just riffed maybe in June, so just recently. Seven uh, are seven are currently working. Yes. Uh, That's what I mean. Well, all in law enforcement. Yes. You mean like on a police department? Yes. Yes. One is with IU schools. But I think it's kind of the same difference, just a different environment, maybe. Sure. <laughs> so that was very encouraging. We're excited to, to go through the process again. You know, maybe with a little luck by the end of September, have it all that, and, and then move forward. Any else support? Thank you, Derek. Darren, do you have anything to see me? I'll go get that thing. Okay, Darren Burke, up Agent TV. Uh, on the raw water line, the contract has been on site for about three weeks now. We've got a new on line 421. You'll notice they are installing the product on a lot of the roadway. They're basically starting to work at the Flat Rock uh, intake structure and working toward town. Um, 
as you go up in that end of town, you also see we've got five strong up along the route, quite a bit of pipe strong up there too. Um, they have the directional drill um, portion of the work has all the pipes been fused together and legs, so when the directional group the crews will come in, um, they talked about that late this week or sometime next, I think. That they're somewhat dependent upon when the sub subcontractor is that's bring up to get it down here. Um, other than that, things are moving on pretty well. They did have one little problem with one of the borders across uh, near Flat Rock, and I think they've come up with another solution for that, so um, we're working on that. I just got a of that about five minutes before the nice meeting, so other than that, things are moving along. We really haven't had too many pickups, so we should be working for it now. Um, on the wastewater plant, uh, we did get the new BLR motors installed in the past month. Um, that's all working. Uh, the contractor has completed some more of his punch list items, I believe. We're down to, I think, three items that still need to be addressed. I hope to have to you next month the final change order, and I will try to get that to you ahead of time. It's Right now, it's over 20 items, so it is kind of lengthy, so I'll give you a little time to watch that prior to next month meeting, but I should be able to have that to you next month. And with some luck, if we do get these last items done, maybe we can also have a close out paper for that project as well. Any questions? Thanks, moving on. Yeah, yeah, so far we haven't had any with the raw water line, we haven't had any knock on wood, had any problems yet. So and I think their production, I talked to them late last week, they were finally started their production was out, which is typically crews get used to what they're working with, and they got know that one day they they got over 600 feet in the day, so another day. I, I talked to the contractor, when they get into the open field portion of that work, they were hoping to get 1,000 feet, so if they're getting 600 feet in the right of way, they're, they're probably going to have to do the production. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Suggestion. Sure. If, if Janet was Janice on the committee too, and if she hadn't already done it, uh, something I've been trying to see happens in all the parades lately and hopefully all of them in the future is our country's colors with the parade color guard mm -hmm. always lead the, the parades. Right. Yeah. 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 A lot of times that hasn't happened in the past, and I really think out of respect for our country and the persons in the military. Veterans who have served our country, you know, we owe them that much and a whole lot more. Yes, we do. Appreciate it. Uh, also, during today's staff meeting, we discussed the Health and Wellness Committee. We had budgeted last year for a health and wellness plan, and we've gotten into it a little bit uh, as far as testing, people taking tests and everything, as far as their arteries being blocked or not, their blood pressure, heart rates, things of that nature. And, uh, we're looking to do a little bit more with our insurance through cycle and cost of it. Um, but what we're trying to start up is the uh, Health and Wellness Committee. And we're also looking into possibly in the near future with other insurance companies, not say other insurance companies as per se. But IAC and the Association of Cities and Towns, they start up the trust in different cities where it's all combined, which tends to lessen the increase or decrease in, a, in the policy opinions. And uh, I was wondering if one of the board would like to be one of the committee members from the board of works uh, on the council as well. Steve, we'll put you down with that. Uh, 
Anything from the department has any questions or concerns? 